Okay. So, um, hello, welcome. Um, the, the title is uh, Components we develop are not used at all. Or are they? So, um, I used some Yokoko reporting and um, we, uh, in the project I'm currently working in, we had some, yeah, uh, not a use case kind of uh, for Yokoko reporting. So, just about me, that's me, uh, <laughs> so you can have a picture of me, and my name is Christian. So, what happened so far? Um, as I said, I'm currently working on a project, and um, some stakeholders wanted to know which components, uh, we, we're developing an Eclipse RCP uh, um, framework, and uh, the Stakeholders wanted to know which components are used and which aren't, uh, which can be uh, deleted or um, not prioritized by bug fixing or whatever. So, uh, what we have is an application in Yakoko. Uh, I said, so uh, here you can have a report, and the report usually looks like this. So, Switch to the. I can switch to the. Um, usually looks like this, and you can uh, switch in and then look at the sources and then heaps of information, which um, usually um, the manager doesn't care about. So uh, heaps of information. Um, yeah, manager looks like this, says, uh, I don't know, <laughs> what, what's, what are you talking about? So what he wants is, he wants to know what components are used, but he wants to comprehend the reporting. So what we need is um, code of the application. Uh, we have that since we're developing the application, or the core of the application. We need Yakoko, we need a little bit of the ability to code code. Uh, we need users using the application since we need reporting and we need a way to gather the information for generating the Yakoko reports. Um, we managed somehow to do that all. <laughs> you can ask me uh, if you want to know later, but uh, uh, how it looks now is like this. So uh, we came from this. No, this. Yeah to this, so I'll just switch again, not this one, I don't know what it is. Okay. So from this one to this one and we can um, define a properties file or whatever, map and give it to our service that reports and then we can look at the report and say from layout and say okay layout is used in uh, the, the nut table and we look at this oh, and there are some, some classes not used but some are used so um, over time if we have enough usage data we can say uh, it's used or it's not used at all uh, or over time it is not used or probably not used. You can also ag uh, ag um, aggregate the data but um, that's not yet implemented. So back to this one. Yeah. You can also um, look inside and say, okay, uh, which is used and what's not. So our status quo is we have an OSGI service that um, can generate the reports how we want it. We can define um, where the source files are, where the class files are, or binaries, where um, where we want to report and how we want to report and also um, which, how the components are mapped to or the packages are mapped to components. And what we have is a comprehensible report and probably have a manager, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. So um, what were the challenges for the, uh, 
task. So the challenge uh, or challenges is to get the user data. So uh, we had to account for or take into consideration uh, privacy since um, it's always an issue, especially in Germany. And since the, yeah, the company I'm working for at the moment is a German company, uh, it's high standards there. Um, we have no way to get to the data of offline users, so we don't want to yeah, um, minimize the performance of the application since uh, it runs with the application Java agent that's generating the um, usage data. Um, there are studies that say it's, it's just 2 to 3 percent of performance you lose if you run the Chacoco. Um, agent with your application, so that's that's okay, I guess. Uh, at least nobody <laughs> said something. And you have to get the binaries and the sources. Um, you have to um, get the mapping for the component and man uh, mapping uh, for component map package mapping. That's it. So um, you probably have to talk to the management because they want to know which packages are in what component and so on. And uh, you have to choose between jar files, usually coming out from your build, uh, and class and Java files. So you have to um, yeah, orchestrate your application. That's also a challenge, usually. At least it was in our case. So what's next? Um, next, we want to get more usage data. Uh, we want new features in the recording, uh, enable real-time recording. That would be also interesting for Ubula, since you can um, uh, start test and then have a report for your test case, and even look if the changes you made in the code are tested at all. For example, that be just came to my mind right, right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> big, pardon? You're already doing that. Oh, oh, really? That's cool. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, cool. Um, and uh, provide task specific data. Um, so, yeah, it's also what you do, probably. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's okay with the time. Any questions? Um, we, it's an Eclipse ex uh, um, application, we um, have an extension point that uh, puts uh, the virtual machine argument of the Yakoko agent into the INI, Eclipse INI file that's de deployed um, via an applet service to the users. Um, it's, there um, are different um, states of the or deployment mechanisms for the, the application and only the online um, deployment or oh, the real time um, deployment ap um, of the application is used or in this case is used for gathering the information for example offline uh, installations aren't um, are used so do you mean something like a web app or no it's um, it's not a web app it's just the launcher is started with an applet and it downloads all the P2 repositories and uh, plugins and then starts uh, on the local machine. But since it has to have a connection to the server, uh, it can also push the usage data back to the server. Any other questions?